we near the, the Skellen Coast boundary, uh, near a place called Amsport, which is also home to the desert elephant population of Namibia. We're hoping to encounter some of those elusive giants this morning, but uh, at the moment we have to be content with some beautiful sunlight and scenery. Cool little interlude afternoon mission before the light gets really good for filming the grenadiers again. We're going to go check a camera trap that Gerard has secreted in the most obscure little spot. It's so cool. It's in the middle of Damro land. There's this secluded salt pan which is ringed in by sheer cliffs. We're going to come out there in a moment and already you can see these little pools over here. So let's go and see if there's any evidence at the main spring itself just around the corner. This is unfortunately one of the things that you have to deal with in uh, areas where hyenas occur. <laughs> and even lions, they sometimes get hold of your equipment and this is all you, you get in return to try and do a bit of research. But uh, yeah, life goes on. We'll try again. Sadly, no luck with the camera trap because it got eaten by hyenas. So unless we find the memory card, which we're searching for at the moment, we are going to get nothing from the last six months of photos. So. That's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. We're gonna spend a little bit more time here tomorrow morning in the riverbed uh, uh, trying to see if there's some wildlife that maybe have uh, come a bit closer last uh, during the night. And uh, there's lots of giraffe also in this area and some uh, sometimes oryx and other general plains game. The scenery in this area is spectacular, especially if you go to the northern bank of the Wanab River. There's some really beautiful rolling hills. So we have a Namibian uh, desert giraffe. In Afrikaans, a camel pad, which is a translation to camel horse. And uh, you can see it's got quite a light color to adapt in this very harsh desert environment. What do they mainly feed on these giraffes? So there's a bush uh, growing in these uh, river beds called the river combretum. It's related to the leadwood tree. And also, contrary to popular belief, uh, these giraffes, they will bend their necks quite low to browse on some of these lower bushes. They don't only eat uh, food in very high trees. Giraffe has got a very loose uh, social structure. They come and go as they please, but it looks like a group of females here. With one male. The chances are likely that there's some more giraffe around. Just had a very cool encounter with some giraffe and another dramatic scenery change here. We've been through it the whole day. Quite remarkable how the uh, landscape just varies. We're going to continue our journey further south into the Palmbach concession area, which is home to probably the last uh, population of free roaming desert adapted black rhino in the world. So we hope to encounter some of those special animals. And uh, it's also uh, very rugged terrain, lots of red basalt formations, 120 million years old. So uh, we're going to do a bit of exploring tomorrow. Here we've got some quite fresh black runner tracks. So this one uh, went into the direction where we came from. But uh, there's a spring nearby, so we hope to find some more sign and, and uh, I think we're going to be lucky at some stage.